Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be about the Secret Lab Magnus Metal Desk. This desk has been out for about a year now, and this is the second one that I've bought with my own money. So I actually like this product quite a bit. And I'm going to talk about how to assemble the desk and what my experience has been over the last year with the first one, and now I've bought a second one. This desk is mostly metal, but not 100% metal. The frame, the legs, is 100% metal, which is really important since most of the accessories for cable management are magnetic. But the desktop and part of the back of the desk are MDF with metal sheathing. And this desk is 59 inches wide and 27 and a half inches deep and about 29 inches tall. And you can vary the height of the desk by about an inch with some bolts on the bottom that are meant to level it. But if you raise them all the way, you can make the desk slightly higher. But this is not a sit-stand desk. It's a fixed height desk. And you pick the desk that you want, and they only sell a 59-inch wide model right now. And then you pick a MagPad desk mat that you want to go with the desk. And I always get the Signature Stealth because it's a less expensive one, but you can get more expensive ones if you so choose. And then you can pick cable management add-ons. And this cable management bundle is actually a really good deal. You get a lot for $49. And then you can get additional cable anchors and cable sheaths and fastening straps, but they're all a little bit more expensive. And then you can even add more accessories you can get a head, headphone hanger and magnetic bumpers for the back of the desk so you don't scratch up your wall. And then you can get a diffuse RGB strip that comes with a remote control. So that's all the accessories that you can get. And this is a relatively pricey desk, but it's very well made in my opinion. And I've been very happy with mine so far. Here are the detailed specifications of this desk. I want to warn you, it's pretty heavy. It's almost 93 pounds by itself and about 117 pounds in the box it arrives in. Here's what the desk looks like after you take it out of the box. The tabletop is by far the heaviest piece. Everything is very well packed in the box with lots of foam and plastic, and all these pieces are in individual boxes. So even if the external box gets thrashed by shipping, it's going to be safe from any kind of damage. They do a very good job of packing. Here's what the main pieces look like after taking them out of the plastic in the boxes. All the parts are labeled really well, which makes it very easy to assemble this desk. Each leg has a paper label that matches the sticker on the underside of the tabletop. So this makes it very easy to make sure you get all the parts in the right place. The diagrams that come with the instructions are extremely well done and makes it a lot easier to build this desk. Here I am attaching one of the legs at bionic speed. I wish I was this fast in real life, but this is really easy to do. And it turns out I actually did this in the wrong order, but I'll talk more about that later. So this shows you putting in the four long screws and then tightening them down with the included screwdriver that comes with the desk. It turns out that you're supposed to mount the mounting blocks for the rear cross members on the rear legs first before you attach the legs. But I did it in a slightly different manner, but it, it all worked out in the end. So... Make sure you do that instead of how I did it to make it slightly easier. And then here's me assembling uh, those blocks in super speed here. And it's not that hard to do it if you did it the way I did. After all four legs are installed and the mounting blocks for the cross member is installed, you want to put the actual cross member on there. And I actually did mine upside down because I was doing this by myself. So it's slightly different from the diagram, but it works just the same way. It's just easier to assemble. So I dropped this down from the top instead of doing it upside down as they show in the diagram. And it fits either way, and it seems to not have any effect on the functionality of the desk. So whichever way you want to do it, it'll probably work just fine. Here's the other side going in. I actually had two cameras filming this, so that's why I have multiple views of some of this stuff. The next step is installing the cable management tray and you want to take off the cover first and it's held magnetically to that crossbar and then it's attached with two short screws to hold it in in the front as you see in the diagram. 
The next step is to flip the desk over right side up. And you really do want to have two people to do this, no matter how strong you are, because it's pretty unwieldy and it does weigh 93 pounds by itself. So it's much safer to have two people. The next step is attaching the rear cover on the back of the desk and it's held on by four pan head screws. And this is actually a lot easier to do if you have two people to hold it in place. But make sure you flip it up like you see in the picture. I was able to get it assembled all by myself, but it would have been easier with two people to hold it in place. So I did one side and then I switched over to the other side and it was able to work. But again, two people is a lot easier to do for this. And you do want to be careful when you open that rear cover not to pinch yourself if you open and close it in the center. The final step is installing the mag pad on the desk. And if you follow the directions, it's not that hard to do, but you need to be careful to try to get it aligned right the first time because the magnet's pretty strong. And if it's not aligned correctly, you have a hard time adjusting it and you're better off just peeling it off and trying it again. Here's a view of the cable tray looking at it from above with the rear cover flipped up. And the cable tray is actually a lot wider than it looks here, so there's plenty of room for power strips and lots of wires in there. Here's the mag pad from one side. It's the signature stealth, as you can see there. And you can always buy other mag pads if you want to change the look of the desk, but I'm going to stick with this one myself. This is what it looked like when I first set it up and I put my Corsair 5000D system up there on the right and I just wish it was a little bit wider to be honest and I did something about that later. And also I hadn't done any cable management here because the cable management kit did not come with the main desk when I initially ordered it. And this is the cable management bundle that you want to order when you order the desk. This is actually a good deal compared to getting the parts individually. And this will give you enough cable management parts that are magnetic that you can do a pretty decent job of cable management, assuming that you care about that. But I think that's one of the attractions of this desk is the magnetic cable management accessories. Here's what the system looks like today. What I ended up doing is getting a small cubicle thing on the right that I used to have the gaming PC. And that gives me a lot more room on the desk. I'm still working on the cable management, but so far I'm pretty happy with how it looks. And down below I've got an APC gaming UPS, and you can see that right there. It shows you the instantaneous power usage of the entire system. And here's a close-up of what the system looks like now. I'm still going to do some more work with the cable management, but it doesn't look too bad in my opinion. So it's a nice gaming workstation setup with a desk that looks good and is very sturdy and it's going to last for a long time. So I'm really happy with this. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out. Really? Do you have a lot to say?